today we're gonna see uh, how we are going to create a simple HGP using uh, Oracle J developer. We do have so many options to create a simple HGP like you can use J developer and you can use Eclipse, you can use uh, NetBeans and then so on. So the easiest option for us to create a EGP is Oracle J developer. I'm gonna create a new EGP using J developer. Okay. Okay, you open your developer and new application. I'll just provide application name, the service. Okay, make it a general application. Next, and your project name, test EJ service. So, the two things you know the FA technology scope, one is Java, that is the core, and the additional component is called EJ Okay, Java and EJ Click next on one of the default packages on that test dot EJ <coughs> EJP dot EJP service. So, I'm gonna click next and I'm gonna use Java 3.0 and finish. Okay, my project is ready, but I don't have anything for my project. So, because I don't have any classes in it. So, when you put in here, I'm gonna show you how the code is going to look like. Just create a simple Java class. Give it a bit of a test, and I'm gonna. Okay, so now we will be able to see the application source, and we do see that the class has been created. And just notice this. We never we, we are not provided any uh, packages while creating the test Java code because the reason when I create an application I provide the default package is com.test EGP service. So by default, whenever you create a new classes, new Java classes, without providing any uh, package, it will automatically pick the default package from your project. Okay, now ultimate goal is I'm gonna click new EGP. Click new and and EGP you awesome as Session bin, message driven bin, and set up uh, some other things also. But we're gonna see the session bin today. So I'm gonna click session bin and click OK and put some name for it. Test session EJP. So this is map name which we are going to use for to call this EJP through your client files. So this may be in class. I'm gonna give this one another for the call session dot okay i'm gonna click next i need a remote interface and as well as a local interface and so i'm going to keep the remote interface and as well as my local interface so remote interface nothing but when you're exposing your service into external parties you are going to provide your remote interface to getting to accessing your uh, methods and local, this one the most probably we are using for local testing purpose. Okay, click next and then I'll click finish. So there you can see another package created from the test at EDP service dev session. There I have my session bean and my local interface and my remote interface. I don't need this to Java anymore, I'm gonna delete it. Okay. So let me start the server. Meanwhile, so there are two things you need to keep in mind when whenever you create a EGF service before deploying, you need to have a deployment profile. That means do you have a profile that contains your JAR file and EAR file? Whenever you're deploying an EGP service, it has to be deployed as the EAR file. That EAR file contains your JAR files. So that's nothing but this is very good. Just uh, click on your project and go to deploy. There's an option called new deployment profile. Just click new deployment profile. I'm going to create a EJP jar file. That's nothing but the jar plus EAR container. Click OK and test application. Application for EJP. So I'm going to click OK. So, my, so in when you create a deployment profile, it's notifying you the jar file and EAR file is going to be placed in under which folder. So normally it will create a folder under your project, the folder called deploy. Inside the deploy folder, you can have 
the jackal as well as the year if I want it to apply. Okay, I'm gonna click OK. My server is. My, my server is started and running. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to deploy my service. Just click right click on your project. Deploy. Deploy as yes, a test application UGB. I'm going to deploy into my uh, local integrator library server. So deploy to application server. Click next and choose integrator server and click next. Next and finish. It will take for a while. Maybe deploy in 10 seconds. Okay, the reason it's not deploying in my local integrated server, I do have an uh, exit. I created another uh, Egypt service yesterday, so I'm going to delete it because while trying to deploy the same uh, EGP, same uh, EGP into this server, it will throw an error message like saying already there is a deployment for a particular profile, so you need to delete it and put a new one. I'm gonna open my WebLogic server and so so there I already have a test application which has the same class name as test session EJP so I'm gonna modify it. So now I'm gonna modify it. I'm going to deploy and I'm, I'm, I'm going to delete it and then I'm gonna deploy our the newly created applications. So go to deployment there you can see that see I do have the test service EGP. I don't want any applications on my server. Okay, I'm gonna delete it. Will take for a while. Okay, it is deployed. So, but one more thing, you need to know. Order, or you need to notice another thing. Whenever you deploy an EGP service, you need to have at least a single method in your interfaces, or else there is an error will throw in your deployment. Like saying there are no methods defined in your interface. I'm going to have a method string. Say hi. Say hi. Let up the string name. So everyone know the interface. We do have only the declarations. I'm going to keep the same thing into my local server also. So sorry, in our remote also. So. Obviously, I'll get an exception in my EGP bean definition class because there are two there are methods added in my interfaces, but it's not implemented in our EGP. So, click implement methods here, it will automatically implement the method. So, just say mm, hello, and you can open the name. That's fine. Okay, now the test service is ready. Just try to deploy it now. Test application uh, EJP into an integrated server. Yeah, it is deployed successfully. Just go to your server and click deployments. You can see your new deployment is there. Okay, it is done. So, in 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 olden days, what will happen is they were creating EJPs. It's a very difficult way, and also to creating client files to accessing my interface is very difficult. But we do we do have a handy options in Oracle Jail Looker. You I'm going to create a client for this particular EJP bean. So I'm going to right click my EJP and there we have an option called new sample Java client. Just click. So I'm going to create another package with the client. Okay, I do have a I have only integrated server, so in application server connection you'll you'll be able to see only one server if you have a multiple connections. You can see multiple servers there. Okay, my client created. See the two lines. First, I will get the contacts. Then, from the contacts, I will get the EGP file. Contacts is nothing but it trying to pull all the applications deployed in your local integrated server. Nothing but my local host. So, whenever I look up in my contact with this particular map name.